it makes me a little bit angry that I'm being punished for bullying and a rapist isn't being punished for raping people. Cape Elizabeth High School sophomore Ayla Mansman says she was suspended for bullying after posting these sticky notes in the girls' bathroom with the words, there is a rapist in our school and you know who it is, written on them. I felt that it was important that this was made common knowledge. Mansman says she posted them because she and others don't feel safe in school and are not being heard by the administration about allegations of sexual assault amongst their peers. What she says has been going on for years. On a day to day level, we don't feel believed. We don't feel supported. But the school says it is taking all the proper steps to make sure students feel safe. Superintendent Donna Wolfram says after investigating the sticky notes, she is confident students are in no danger. She admits the notes were a cry for help and suggests students should have voiced their concerns differently. Do you support them coming out and, and saying? I think there's a way to do it, a proper way to do it. And if they go through the proper channels, I think that's perfectly fine. I think we're willing to listen to our students. Do you think the sticky notes are a proper way to do it? Um, it caused a lot of confusion. We spent a lot of time investigating. It had some adverse effects on some other students. Um, I think there could have been a better way to do that. The school district conducted eight investigations into possible violations of Title IX, seven of which concerned sexual assault or harassment. Title IX is a federal law preventing gender discrimination and sexual violence in education. The school department released a statement on Mansman's suspension, reading in part, the Cape Elizabeth schools have never disciplined a student for advocating for their peers. It is important to understand when a student's speech bullies another student, we are required to investigate and take prompt action. Mansman says she never put the accuser's name anywhere on the sticky notes and doesn't understand how it is bullying. I find that that is completely out of line. She says she and her family are going to discuss what to do next and says if anything good comes out of this, it's that it starts an important conversation that she hopes will spark change. Just the people in this room, but the people in our community and the people that are affected by our community, we have step there are steps that need to be taken to improve our, our culture.